Yo what's up guys it's Aptrix here welcome to the official best settings video of the RPCS3 PS3 emulator for Android. Now right here I have loaded the latest alpha 5.2 version of the RPCS3 emulator Android which was released just yesterday and in today's video I'll be showing you guys its best settings to get the maximum performance as well as fix graphical issues and improve compatibility. But before getting started if you guys are new here hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification as I'll keep you guys up to date with all the latest PlayStation 3 emulation videos with that being said let's get started so right here i have added few games that we'll be testing out in today's video with the best settings that i am about to show you guys now recently if you guys have watched my rpcs3 update video you know that now rpcs3 has this settings bar if we just go ahead and tap on it you can even use custom gpu driver for better performance or accuracy i'll talk about it later on in the video but we have an advanced settings tab now where we'll be able to customize all the settings of the rpcs3 emulator so let me get started with the core settings where here make sure to set the ppu decoder as recompiler let the ppu threads be set to 2 afterwards scroll down where spu decoder you will need to set it to recompiler furthermore where you will see preferred spu threads now here you will need to set it to 2 for better stability and performance once that has been done everything else you can keep it as default make sure that the spu block size is set to safe afterwards we'll just go ahead and go back in terms of vfs settings you don't really need to change anything keep everything as default now here are the most important settings well in terms of video settings make sure to go to vulcan afterwards scroll down into custom driver section you will need to enable turbo mode now this is an experimental setting it might cause crashing issues or lack of stability in few games but i do recommend you guys to enable turbo mode for better performance once that has been done go back in terms of renderer make sure to set it to vulcan if you have low-end android device you can also try opengl but it's not recommended at all vulcan provides you with best performance in terms of resolution you get a lot of resolution scaling but in my opinion I recommend you guys to set the resolution as less as possible. For example, 720 into 480 p resolution or 720 by 576. I'll go with 720 by 576 for today's video. In terms of aspect ratio, we only get two options: 4 is to 3 or 16 is to 9. We will go with 16 is to 9. Shader compilation mode: make sure to set it to asynchronous with shader interpreter. Shader precision: make sure to set it to low. Afterwards, in terms of output scaling mode, you can keep it as default. Make sure to enable right color buffers as well as read color buffers if you want to fix graphical issues that you will face while emulating some ps3 games on your android device for example god of war 3 demo you can also scroll down and enable vsync for stable performance so your device does not get overheated but i'll disable it because we want the best performance possible well guys i am recording this part after actually recording the entire video i forgot to show you guys and very important setting in terms of video that literally makes your ps3 emulation experience way better so in advanced settings slash video settings scroll down until until you see this option known as stretch to display area make sure to enable this option so that you get a full screen display layout experience while emulating your ps3 games as you can see i have enabled full screen and now you guys will be able to see our games will launch in a full screen mode which means we get the amazing aspect ratio of stretch to fit once that has been done, there are a lot of settings but I recommend you guys to not mess with any of these settings as these may cause crashing issues. Other than that, in terms of audio, you get QBAV as well as NULL in terms of renderer. You can set it to NULL if you don't want audio output. You can also increase the desired audio buffer duration and set it to at least 150 for better audio quality and less lagging. Once that has been done, we'll go back in terms of input output controls. You will be able to map your keyboard and mouse, camera, etc. But I won't be doing any of this in today's video. We'll scroll down to system settings where you will be able to see you get keyboard type, etc. Keep everything as default. We also get net so we can enable the internet connection which has already been connected. In terms of save state, we don't really need to change anything. So we'll go to miscellaneous now. Scroll down until you find show auto save slash auto load hint. This is actually a useful feature. So these are going to be the official best settings that we'll be using for the RPCS3 emulator Android. Now comes the most important part that is custom graphics driver. Now if your device has a Snapdragon processor, I recommend you guys to use the official Mesa Turnip Adreno driver version 25.1.0 revision 2. This is very important as it will dramatically improve the performance of your Android device while emulating PS3 games and also fix graphical issues. You can add it by simply tapping on this plus button and then selecting the driver as you guys can see it has been successfully added. But the device which I am using today is my Realme GT7 Pro with Snapdragon 8 Elite. That's why this Mesa Turnip driver is not compatible with this device and hence why I'll be going with the default graphics driver. Now that we have applied all the best settings we can finally start testing.
testing out few games in today's video. The first game that I'll be testing out is going to be the Batman Arkham Asylum and you'll be able to see the game is loading actually pretty fast in terms of PPU models etc. I think that's because uh, now when you import a game inside RPCS Simulator it takes a very long amount of time because it loads all the necessary stuff beforehand before actually launching the game so that when you actually launch the game the game loading is super fast. And there we go once the entire process is completed we saw the building SPU cache etc. By default the memory overlay has been enabled at the top left corner as you will be able to see. We can see 30 FPS and there we go Batman Arkham Asylum is about to start on our Android device. Now in the latest alpha version 5.2 of RPCS 3 emulator this is actually a very stable emulator and you will be able to see the game is loading super fast. So there we go Batman Arkham Asylum even the compiling shader catch thing is not popping up frequently but we'll only find out how well does this game work when it actually starts. And here we go guys after waiting for 20 to 30 seconds and some shader compilation you will be able to see Batman Arkham Asylum had been started. But unfortunately it crashed so it's not a big deal you can reopen the game and it will work. So here we go I reopened the game and it started in just few seconds because once the shaders are all compiled it doesn't take that long the game becomes super smooth and just take a look at this our Batman Arkham Asylum is about to start. We'll just go ahead and skip this cutscene cause why not and here we go as you'll be able to see our game is about to start so we'll skip this cutscene as well. And now that our game is about to begin you will be able to see at the top left corner how much FPS are we actually getting. It's saying compiling shaders and at the top left corner we are getting 45 to 50 60 FPS which is actually very amazing. The last time I tested out this game if you guys remember then I was only getting 22 FPS but after applying the best settings that I just showed you guys I am getting almost twice as more FPS than what I was getting before. Here I have increased the brightness so that you will be able to see it a bit better. Everything is running super smoothly without any issues unlike previously where there used to be a lot of lag almost 20 fps and this is during shader compilation which means that once all the shaders are actually compiled the fps will even be more than what we are getting right now so here we go at the top left corner you will be able to see 30 fps table in batman arkham asylum that is pretty amazing very flagship gameplay experience and it is completely playable with that being said in my next video i'll be trying out the original god of war 3 full game inside rpcs 3 emulator so make sure to hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification as i upload similar videos on my channel i'll be testing out gta 5 as well if this video reaches 250 likes so make sure to hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification i'll see you guys next time though thanks for watching peace out